In this quick After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make this amazing looking 3D cylinder text effect which can turn around any 3D object or any 2D object and just look super cool and we don't need any plugins, so take 5 minutes of your time and learn something new today. So let's make a new composition and just leave the normal settings and let's also right click in here and add a solid background and also right click in here, go to new and let's add a text first of all. And now you can just type in here whatever you want, but make sure to duplicate it a few times. So I'll just type an effect, put in a space or two, effect again, and so on. And yeah, that looks good. Now we can just select it, press S on the keyboard, and scale this up a bit. And maybe you have to press Shift to unlock it. But yeah, just like this. You can also go to the right side and look for the align tab and just align it horizontally and vertically and if you can see this one just go to window and make sure align is checked but yeah now we want to maybe scale it up a bit more the goal is to have it perfectly centered and also a bit of free space on the left and the right as you can see now this is really good this is how it should look like for you and we can actually make sure it's yeah centered again and yeah, that's perfect. Now we can just right click on this one and go to pre-compose and make sure these settings are selected and just hit OK. And now we can apply the cylinder effect finally, which will look really good. So just search for CC cylinder and apply it. And now you can see by default, this should look kind of good. I think uh, maybe we made the mistake of uh, making the text black. So let's add a fill effect real quick to give it some nice color and just make sure it's above the cylinder effect and just, yeah, let's go for a nice light blue. This is perfect. And yeah, now if we would add a sphere, let's just make it for this example. So for this one, we could just duplicate the yeah, background by pressing Ctrl D by having it selected and applying the sphere effect. We can now see that yeah, the sphere is either in front of the of the um, or behind the text or completely yeah, in front of it. But we want it to be exactly in this one, so we have to do a, a little trick, which is quite nice. And yeah, first of all, let's animate this text to turn around a bit and then separate it into two pieces. So afterwards, it will be yeah half behind the text and half in front of it, or not behind the text, behind the sphere. So yeah, let's do this real quick. So first of all, let's animate it by opening up the rotation and make sure you're at the beginning of this animation and just put in the keyframe at Y rotation and then go forward to whatever you like. Let's just do five seconds and put in, yeah, maybe one in here or actually minus one. So it goes clockwise, I think. And now if we play this thing, we can see this yeah effect will just turn around and yeah, this is quite cool as you can see. Maybe to give it a bit more 3D look, we can maybe give it a bit more angle. So just put in 10 degrees in the X rotation, maybe 10 in the Z rotation. And this is cool. But as you can see, it's completely in front of the object, which you want it to yeah, rotate uh, yeah, around. So yeah, let's select this text layer and press Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate this one. And now let's select the upper one and open up the, the cylinder settings and let's go to the um, rotation setting and now we can go to the render setting in here and yeah first of all let's just select outside and we won't see a big difference but now let's select the yeah, lower text layer and again open up the rotation settings and now select inside. And now we can move this layer down below, right behind the sphere layer or object layer. And now you can see this will, yeah, turn around this object. And I think this looks super cool. And yeah, in the example, we also gave it a bit more cool looks because now this looks quite boring. So maybe we can start with the sphere of first of all. And yeah, let's just add a fill effect to again, give this one some color and just bring it top of here. And let's also give it a nice bluish color. Something like this should work. And that also, oops, that was not planned. Let's go back, 
the normal settings here. And yeah, let's also give it a noise effect. So just put a noise in here and apply it and bring this to something like 20% maybe. I think this looks good. And maybe let's also give it some glow effect, which always looks nice. But here we have to increase the, the radius by a lot. And yeah, now let's focus on the text. First of all, we can add a drop shadow, so it will look a bit more 3D. So just type in drop shadow, add apply it, and maybe increase the opacity to 75%. And we can also do this for the lower layer and also increase the opacity, just like this. And I think for this example, the, uh, the fill effect is a bit Oh no, not the fill effect, the color is a bit too dark, so let's bring this up a bit. And also for the other layer, let's just make the lighter blue. And yeah, the cylinder thing also gives us a bit shading, but I think this is too strong maybe. So we can just increase the ambient to 100. And the same for this layer. So just go to shading and put in 100 in here. And yeah, this should look a bit cooler. And I think we also can give both of these tags a nice noisy shade just to match the sphere. Also just put in something like 20% for this one and do the same for the other layer, just like this. And yeah, we can also give it some glow effect to also match it. So just apply it and bring up the radius a bit and we can just press Ctrl C on the keyboard to duplicate this and or copy it and paste it into here. And yeah, now if you will play this, I think this looks super cool. Of course you can, it will look better if you add a, a cool background, something motion graphics related, something cool. But I think for this tutorial, this is enough. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.